Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So in a previous video, we learned how to handle a very basic table. In this video, we are going to learn how to do the calculation, the arithmetic operations. For example, here we have a scenario like add all the prices and check if the total is correct. So it can be like your static data or else dynamic data as well. But the concept is going to be the same. So we have to find like number of rows, number of columns and we have to get all the price list and then we have to check with the total okay so let's go and inspect this let's see what we have here so if you go to this particular table which has a id called shopping so i can probably go with the css of shopping okay let me take the table first so here i'll say like const dot table and it's going to be like page dot locator of this thing okay now if you see this table within this we have like header tag so we have like headers and then we have the body and also the footer so the footer contains the uh, total okay so here you can select we have like total as a text and the value okay and within the body of course we have all the list of item and the prices so and within the header we have like uh, item and prices header basically right so first of all we have to uh get the body okay so we have to get the body right so here i can say like const table body equal to page dot not page i can go with the table so table dot locator of the body which is t body okay and then of course i want to get the footer as well so let me store it like t foot okay so from the table we are getting the footer as well okay now what we are going to do is we are going to find the number of rows and the column okay so in previously we used like two uh, loops to iterate through each and every rows and column right but in this case we have only like um, two columns so i don't have to use like multiple loops i can just go with single for loop okay so we have to know how many rows are there right so first of all we'll find the rows count so let's name it like rows count equal to we have to target from the body and we have to find the locators of table rows and then i can use the count um, multiple rows will be there of course so i can just focus on the first row okay so this is going to return me the number of rows okay so if you want you can just log and check as well or else we can also write like expect condition so here i can say like expect rows count to be four okay so we have like four here one two three four yeah so we can expect this to be this okay now if i use to be this is going to like equals that means it is going to check for the uh, number data type and the count is also giving us the number so it should work fine okay but here in this case like 150 180 these are be your promise of string so this is going to be string and we know that in the string we cannot do the arithmetic it will do the concatenation not the additional so we are going to convert the numbers the string data type to the numbers okay let's see how to do that as well so first of all here i will go with the loop as i and the count we already know that it's rows count and it's already giving me something like of course i have missed the await okay now here what can i do is i can first find a single row and i can say it like table body from there um the locator of tr dot nth okay so we'll just go through the loop right so first row second row third row based on number of counts we have so from the count since we have like only two columns i know that i have to find the last one right so row dot locator of td dot last and from there i have to retrieve the text so it will give us like text content and of course we have to use the await and that's going to return me the price right now what are the price i'm going to get i have to store it somewhere so before the loop i will say like const not const so we are going to manipulate of course we should not use the const and here i can say like total equal to zero let's start with the zero 
and whatever the price I'm going to get so for example I can say like total plus equals number I'm going to use the number of price okay so what is this number in the sense like we know that this text contents is going to return us string promise of string of course we have used the await so it will be resolved promise will be resolved and if I say like price directly it will do the concatenation but I want to perform the arithmetic so here when I say number that means it will change the string to a number okay so that's very simple just a class you are calling it which will uh, number constructor okay so yeah that's a very simple thing okay now we have to do do the asset before doing the asset of course i have to get what is the actual value is present right so here i can say like const actual value equal to so from the t footer i have to find the locator of td again the last one so that is where our uh, total is there and I can say the text content so if I use text content that means of course I have to use the await okay and then I can use the expect to do the asset so here actual value to be the total so total here is number because of course it's a number to derive and actual value is a string so of course we have to convert this into a number again so here i'll say like number okay. okay so that's it we are pretty much done with the help of one single loop we are able to solve this let me execute and then probably we'll just discuss one more time if there is any failure of course the test case will fail because we have written the asset as well okay and here you can see we got this fail so here you can expect it four but received one um yeah sorry um this is like we are checking the first one so of course it will be like only one row but um uh, yeah so this is wrong actually so this asset doesn't of course it will not work here because see we are finding the rows and from there we are saying first first means of course it will return only one but we are expecting four which is wrong assertion so of course we can remove that one why i added that yeah actually correct so if you see here the rows count should be four only but i don't know why i have used first here so yeah that's wrong actually assert is correct but um yeah okay now let's go and run this one more time yeah it worked now so just in case if you want to see the reporter probably we can get that as well or else we can go with the console log as well so here you can select one test passed and i didn't print anything i guess yeah since we have already these guys so i think that's fine but just in case if you want to see the log let me show you that as well so here i can say like actual come on actual value come on the total okay i just wanted to print and show you so that you will understand better okay so now if i go to this particular console log here you can select 858 that is our actual and this is our total okay so yeah that's it pretty cool pretty neat and clean this is very um easy compared to any other things i guess so yeah that's it so i hope you understood both the concept let me give you a quick recap so here we found the table from the table we found the body as well as the footer now here we are getting the number of rows so from the body i am finding all the tr and the count okay based on that we are just doing the loop within the loop we are finding the row one by one so using the nth function and from the particular row we are trying to find the particular td and there are two tds so here you can see like we have prices and the items 
so from the last the price is in the last so obviously we are taking the last text content and we are just doing simple mathematic operation here and then we have this assert and this one of course like again within the footer we have like two so we we are focusing on the last we are editing the text and we are doing some asset now here we have used the number in both the places because it text content will return as the string but we want to use the number here we are using the number because of course we want to perform the mathematic calculation and here we are using the number because we are using the function called to be which is strict validation that means it will expect the number to be number format as well as the value to be same okay yeah so that's it i hope you are able to understand that in this and probably in the next video we will also see like how to do the uh, sorting thing as well and if time permits we'll see some other example as well like pagination that's it from my side thanks for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments or in our discord Tada, bye bye take care